So as most of you guys know, MGK has been moving absolutely mad this year. He released a pop punk album, which was decent. It wasn't as good as tickets to my downfall. But shortly after that, the bloke announced that a new seventh album that would mostly consist of being a rap album would potentially be getting released in 2022. Now, I was pretty skeptical. I was sitting here thinking, how is this guy going to tour, make two albums this year, do a bunch of movies when I can't even be bothered to get my fat ass to the gym and run more than one minute and 10 seconds on the fucking treadmill. You know what? It seems impossible. There are some hard workers out there, but still, I looked at this and I'm like, shit, this is probably not going to come out this year. Although, there have been some strong indications it still might. I do think it should be a 2023 release. But again, that's not to say that we haven't actually learned a fair bit about this album in the meantime of waiting since Mainstream Sellout came out. So in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about everything we know so far about MGK's untitled 7th album, which will be, in fact, a rap album from what we know. So without further ado, we'll get to some of the songs that have already been leaked slash teased leaked. What the fuck do you call it? I don't know. MJK will just live stream sometimes and play some random ass music and go, I'm going to release this song and just never release it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. He said he wouldn't release Go Hard, but again, they're saying that it might be on this album and it's going to be called Praise the Lord now. I don't know. More into that in a second. First of all, there's actually a website called Genius, which isn't always reliable, but again, basically sometimes they make these articles to talk about some of the songs that have been kind of leaked slash teased, and again, most of these are pretty accurate, and they've of course been leaks that have been up before. Now again, I will say even though 90% of this website is accurate, sometimes there are still some fucking bullshit things. I mean... For mainstream sellout, there was a rumor that James Arthur was going to be on it. And that's not to say he didn't make a song with James Arthur. We just never got to see it. So again, maybe they were right. Maybe they were wrong. I'm not sure. But for the most part, they're definitely right on a lot of these things because a lot of these songs have been teased here and there before. First of all, Molly in MIA by... Uh, fuck. Jesus Christ. I just had like Tourette's go to my brain. I stuttered. I don't even know what's going on there, but yeah, Molly and MIA by Young Thug and Machine Gun Kelly has been somewhat leaked online. It does say that on August 7th, it was, a verse was leaked. Again, I do not recommend this, but go and check out the leak online if you haven't already. The song's pretty fucking sick. It's actually really good. Again, I feel like half of it is going to be getting scrapped because it's almost just like, Young Thug freestyling on the awesome beat. Freestyling really slowly towards the end. But the first half of the song where you've got the full concrete Young Thug verse and the MGK verse. Sounds great. It sounds like it could be a single on the album. And it's really good. And I'm really excited to see how they expand that. So basically, yeah. It's confirmed Young Thug will be on this album. There was also another little tease called I Be Up. Which had Young Thug on it as well. I believe Young Thug actually showed this on one of his Instagram stories. Again, I don't know if this one's going to be releasing from Remembrance. It didn't sound as good, but again, it just shows that they always have multiple songs in the work, him and Thugger, so that's there as well. Then there's the big one, which I am so excited you know, for. It's called Lost Sometimes by Internet Money and MGK, featuring Dro Kenji. Originally, this song was rumored to be on Internet Money's album as he was producing the whole thing and even showed a sneak peek on his YouTube channel. But for some reason, that Internet Money album never came out and it was supposed to come out like earlier in the year, which makes me think that this song has kind of been moved now to the MGK album, which I think makes a whole lot of sense. Internet Money has been known to be a pretty decent group of producers i would like to say even though there's a couple of dudes over there which are the main mainly the dudes that work on the music and mjk was on it and then of course it featured dro kenji who is an extremely good underrated r&b artist basically dro kenji is a bit like juice world except he actually makes good fucking music Jeez, that one's definitely going to come back to bite me in the ass it's a joke juice world fans calm down don't eat my ass or i'm i'm just joking around 
am I? I mean, I am. I mean, even though Juice World is pretty cool, Dro Kenji I like a lot more. I think this guy is really good. I think he's got about two or three million monthly streamers. Really underrated, dude. And again, this song should be absolutely awesome. And judging from the sneak peek, it looks like it will be. Then we've got a confirmed feature that Lil TJ will be on the album as well. They've worked on a song called Seven, uh, 720 War featuring Lil TJ. Again, I've heard the sneak peek of this song. I didn't really like it that much, which hurts my feelings a lot because I actually really like Lil TJ. But it, the song kind of sounds like Cheeks, in my opinion. So hopefully they rework it. And again, it was only like a minute of it leaked, but still, I'd like to see a bit more. But again, Lil TJ officially on the album so far. And again, mainly, these are the three dudes that we know are officially confirmed. They're the only ones that are really confirmed to be on this album, I think, so far is Young Thug, Dro Kenji, and Lil TJ. Although again, we know that that Dro Kenji song could still be on an internet money album. There's a couple other songs that have been, you know, kind of leaked here and there. Again, Praise the Lord was done. Uh, we've again seen the sneak peek. That was actually being produced by, um, you know, Ronnie J, the greatest producer tag of all time. I mean, every time that producer tag comes on, I think we all have like a sex change and we all try and sound like the chick and we all go, oh my God, Ronnie. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. But again, there's been a lot of other MGK songs that have been getting leaked recently that I'm not sure if they're going to be on the album or not. A couple of them have been more punky type of songs in my opinion. Again, the No Fear song with Tyler Your Way, which pretty much got fully leaked. Sounds more like a Tyler Your Way single to me. Not just that, it was a punk song. So again, I think it makes sense for Tyler Your Way to kind of release this as his own thing. And it, it would be kind of out of the ordinary for what Tyler does. He's usually an R&B type rap type of guy. Again, he's made a couple of really good songs with Posty, Wiz Khalifa, and The Baby. And again, this song with MGK is no different. Really top notch. So he's got that one as well. He's also got a, a song called No Cell Phones in Rehab which again was a punky type song from Remembrance. Let Him Die Slowly, which I think was a bit of both from Remembrance. I, actually, no, I think it was mainly rap. Actually, I think it was made by a dude named Dubbo uh, who made that song, which is pretty interesting. I think, don't think that's going to be on the album. I think MJK would definitely be featured on that song, which should hopefully come out soon. Again, that's all there so far. Then there's been some reported songs, one of them called While Now, which was produced by Slim. I don't think that's been leaked anywhere. Planet Mars as well, which has been produced by Trav Barker. I don't know if that means it's punk, but I haven't heard that anywhere either, but it's still on here. Then we've got a one called Same Side featuring Corday. Again, I think it's been rumored for a bit that Corday and him might be doing a feature. Not sure if that's going to be necessarily happening, but for right now, we mainly know that Thugger is going to be a big artist on this album. He could very well have two songs on there. TJ's got one, and then of course we know Dro Kenji. Another artist who should be on it is actually Polo G. Polo G actually responded to one of MJK's, you know, kind of a post about Mainstream Salad a bit ago saying that he wishes he could have gotten on that album. I think MJK confirmed somewhere that they did end up working on a collab, and I believe it will be more of a rap type of song which should be on this album. Then we've got, of course, the one of Lil Uzi Vert, who MGK also confirmed a bit ago he had worked with Uzi on a song, but at the time it was being said it was a punk song. So whether or not he just says screw it and still put some punk songs on this album will be interesting to see because if he's got features like Uzi, TJ, Polo G on here, I think that's going to bring in a very interesting kind of new fan base, more of that new R&B type of, I wouldn't say R&B, but like, fuck it, I don't know, how do you describe their type of music, it's not like full rap, like I wouldn't say Lil TJ and Polo G are definitely 100% rappers, they definitely have some songs which sound a lot like they're singing, is what I'm trying to say here, but again, something like that could be on there, which if he puts the punk song with like Uzi on this, that's to say that we could still get the punk song with Tyler Your Way on here as well. So again, even though it's being said to be a full rap album so far, I still have a think he might infuse it with some punk type of stuff. Again, similar to what he did with Mainstream Salad, where A was more of a, a rappy type of song, and then again, Dying California was more of a pop slash rap type of song than punk, I would like to call it. So again, 
This is pretty much all we know about his Untitled 7 album so far. Definitely don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you guys excited for this album? Are you guys not? Is there anything that I missed? Definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below and let me know if I missed anything. And yeah, even, even get in contact with me on Instagram. Go, go follow me on Instagram. I never advertise that. I should start advertising that more. I'll be linking that in the description down below. You guys can even DM me some stuff. Uh, you know, some songs that I might have missed. You know, your thoughts and opinions on the album. This and that. Go and check them out. All the links in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.